Hello, today we are going to be talking about the uh, side view mirror on the Mercedes W126, which very often are uh, neglected. So, what I've got here, I've got one which is manual. I've got another one here, uh, which is electric, that's a four point. And I've got one here that's broken, five point. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to know how to dismantle it from the car, you can have a look at my video on my channel. Uh, I explained uh, rather well. Okay. So once you once you have it and you remove the the rubber, uh, you will see that there's a lot of mechanism here. Yeah? Um, and what's happening because of the car uh, being 25 years old and more. Uh, it's very often something that we neglect. Uh, we don't look at it, it's on the car, we drive it, we park it, etc. We forget that uh, there's rain, there's dust, uh, and what happened over time, it dries up. And what happened? This happened. See how hard it is? It's very, very hard. Now, on the manual, it's even worse. Uh, so, same thing, I'll remove that rubber. And because here there's another mechanism that goes inside and if I try moving it same thing you know I need to put some serious pressure in order to move the the mirror which is not right um, so as you I'm not sure if you can see it but it's all dry inside yeah? so we will have to lubricate all this it's very important from time to time huh, to use a, a good oil or something, a good grease, something that really penetrates. Huh? So we'll do that right now. I'll show you what we're going to do. Now. Okay, what we need to do, if you are outside, well, no problem. If you are in your house, just use a, a plastic, huh, uh, just to make sure you won't um, uh, stain anything. And uh, you can use as well a product like this, huh, uh, WD-40. But this is nice if you've got the little tube that goes on it, so you can uh, really pinpoint where you want to lubricate. Um, personally, I will use this one, uh, three in one. Uh, I quite like this. It penetrates absolutely everywhere, and uh, it, it's quite good. So, what we'll do now, I will put it on all those points uh, that you can see everywhere, and uh, I will leave it to set for a while. Then after, I will try it and if need be I'll add some more okay well uh, now I've placed the oil a bit everywhere yeah and uh, as we can see it starts moving much better huh? in every in every place which is good but we're gonna leave it a bit a bit longer yeah I've placed it on this one too um, if you got uh, something to wipe your hand as well as good and uh, leave it a bit more and then add some more a bit later uh, but you should see a very very big difference I've let the uh, mirror uh, set for about an hour uh, maybe a little bit more and uh, so it went right in beautifully uh, we're just gonna check now uh, the, the manual uh, mirror so this is the protection for in case of accident in case something knock here and as we can see it moved nicely now this one it moved nicely as well huh? definitely nothing to do from uh, what it was before huh? so and this one that's the electric one so the electric one we don't have to worry about that obviously because there's the motor inside uh, but uh, this the, the feature here for in case of accidents and as you can see it moved very very nicely as well huh? so here we go uh, now you know what to do about the mirrors and how to maintain them well my friends I hope you enjoyed the video that I've shown you and you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and give me a like um, and if you feel like it you can leave me a comment as well well see you on the next video